Hey dude, how are you? It's Casey and welcome to today's video. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Casey and I am a skincare and makeup enthusiast. I am not a professional in either of these fields in any way. I am just an amateur who, endure, who enjoys both skincare and makeup. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be trying out a ColourPop Disney Designers Palette in a Get Ready With Me. So if you're interested, keep watching. I will be putting out more videos like this, trying all of the other eyeshadow palettes that I have accumulated. Uh, and I'll have more skincare videos coming out as well. So if you're interested in either of those things, then hit the subscribe button and leave a like and comment. All right, with that being said, let's just get into it. Now I'm going to be starting with my eye look because I'm not <laughs> the best when it comes to applying makeup, especially eyeshadows. It can get really messy for me. So I'm going to start with my eyes and then do the rest of my face. Now I'm going to be using the Morphe Eyelid Primer in Translucent. Alright, so my eyelids are now all primed and ready to go. And I'll show you what the palette looks like. So I think that's really pretty. Um, I'm not going to be doing a crazy eye look. I'm still not confident enough to be doing like cut creases and things, but I'm going to try it probably in my next video or something like that. Now, as for this palette, there's only about three matte shades in here with no glitter or shimmer in them at all. So the top three up here, they're all matte shades. But then these two, they are matte, but they've got like glitter in them. Yeah, I just checked and it's not glitter from like the other, you know, shimmery shades in the palette. There's like glitter in those matte shades. So I'm going to go in with this one here called Grumpy as like my base shade. Now I will be using Jeffree Star brushes. I did explain in my last Get Ready With Me why I'm using them. Um, just a quick rundown. This is, I got these ages ago. Um, I've never been a huge fan of him, but when I started getting into makeup, it was because of the Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star conspiracy uh, advert, which was that documentary. So I bought these at the time because I, I don't know, I just thought, oh, these are good beginner brushes, I guess. So I don't support him. I'll be using these until I can afford better brushes, essentially. So I was just using the JS6 brush and it just wasn't giving me enough pigment onto my eyelid. Um, so I'm going in with the JS5 brush. And even though this is like a blending, like it's a fluffier brush, I feel like it's really placing down that color more than the last one, which was like a, you know, a denser brush. I know I don't, I don't know what brushes I'm supposed to be using. I'm just sort of going by how it's applying on my eyelids. Now, I'm not a huge fan of harsh lines in my makeup, so I'm just trying to blend it out. And I feel like on camera, it looks much more pigmented than it does in real life. And I think that's just because of the lighting that I'm using, but it's not this like orangey, I guess. It's more like a very light brown in real life. Like when I look in the mirror, that's what it is. I have got hooded eyelids um, and the lazy eye, which I keep forgetting to mention. And I always forget which one it is, even though I've lived with it for like 23 years. One of my eyelids like droops down more than the other. And it's really noticeable like when I'm tired. Um, and in reflections. So when you look at me like in real life, you don't really notice it But then when you look at me through a mirror or through a camera, it's really apparent that I have a lazy eyelid um, I can't remember which one it is though it's Probably this one. I don't know. But yeah, so I have hooded eyelids and so I always bring up the color further up oh, I always poke myself in the eye 
and colour up just above where that crease starts right there I bring it up a bit further so that when my eyes are open you can still see that colour rather than just doing it like below the crease you have to bring it up above the crease if you want to still be able to see that colour when you're you know like looking up or just depending on how hooded your eyelids are they can be very very over hooded I've been watching a lot of Robert Welsh as I mentioned in my last video and um, he says holding the brush back like this gives you more control over how much pressure you apply to your eyelid because if you hold it down here that's like a very packed on pigment that you're going to end up with and it's hard to take that color off than it is to just build up more color if you need more color so this palette doesn't have as much fallout as the last color pop palette I tried which was the Making Mauves palette. I'll link that video in the description or up here somewhere or something. One dip and it just goes fucking everywhere so I'm not doing a too crazy eye look I'm just doing something simple that you can wear outside when you take the bins out I guess. Okay so I've just done that same colour on my other eye and that was the shade Grumpy. That's the only one that I've done at the moment. So I'm now gonna go into the shade Enchanted Rose. So just this one here. Don't think it's gonna focus. <laughs> it's just this shade here. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. So I'm gonna go into that right here. See if that works. And then I might do a really nice whiter shade just on the inner corners here and then a shade underneath my eyes. Now I'm gonna try applying that shade with the JS6 brush, see if it works better with this shade. I'm just gonna put down that color and then I'm gonna grab the blending brush again and then just blend it up. I'm not cleaning that brush because that shade I put on is so close to the matte shade that I used I'm just going to use the brush that I was already using. The JS5, I believe. Yeah, the JS5. Again, I have to blend up above my crease, but I'm bringing it back down again. Um, I think it's looking all right. It looks a lot more blocky on camera than it does in, you know, like real life. Like it looks much more just faded out. But I mean, this channel is about learning, so. <laughs> I guess I'll look back on these videos in a year and just think, oh fuck. Alright, so I'm done with that arc now. I'm just going to do that on the other side real quick. I'm just leaving the very inner corner of my eyelids just bare, so then I can choose a colour to put on them. I might go in with the enchanted rose colour that I'm using now underneath also. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the color Ray, this one just here on the inner corners of my eyelids. And I'm just gonna use that same JS6 brush. I'm just blending that into the other shimmer shade that I had next to it. Wow, this is so pretty. That is so nice. I don't know if you can see that. It's so pretty. I actually love it. Okay, so I'm going to do my foundation now and my hair is behind my ears. Very weird. Um, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty foundation, which I don't know which one this is. My sister gave it to me, so... I'm just using, I'm pretty sure it's expired. I got it like two years ago, but I'm just going to use this and hope for the best. So I don't even think this is my proper shade, but I guess we'll make do. I'm just going to be using a beauty sponge. I've never applied my foundation with a brush before. I do have foundation brushes that I could use, but I'm kind of scared to use them just in case I fuck it up or something. Um, but I am going to be doing a video where I try like to 
techniques out of my comfort zone, so that'd be fun, I guess. I definitely have a red undertone and I think this is more of used for like cooler undertones but I quite like it. My sister has um, a bit more olive skin whereas I just have like pale skin so I think this is a bit too light for her. I'm not gonna cut out like this full line. I'm gonna go back over with my eyeshadow brush to just blend it back out again onto the foundation. I have not worn a full face of makeup like this in, oh God, like a year. Yeah, I think I'll have to start using a brush because Beauty sponges are alright, I just always feel like they're sitting on my skin, like the foundation sitting on top of my skin rather than being blended into my skin. I mean, I know it's physically impossible to blend it into your skin. You know what I mean? Like it just looks like I've just like dipped my face in a bucket of makeup essentially. Like, And I don't like that feeling of it sitting on top of my face. So I feel like if I just touched it, it would all just come off. Okay, so I think that's my foundation done now. So I'm just gonna wait for that to settle into my skin a bit more. Um, and then just wait and see where my shiny spots are, if I need to powder or not. It's not a terrible color match, I think, to my neck. I, again, in real life, it looks so much less noticeable than on camera. Which now just makes me question everything I've ever seen on a camera. <laughs> like anything I've ever watched on YouTube, I feel like I'm just questioning it now. Like, did that, is that color really there? So while I'm waiting for that to just sort of settle down, I'm just gonna do my mascara. I'm not gonna do eyeliner. I'm kind of been put off eyeliner for a little while. I am trying to get back into it again, but I really just can't be bothered spending, you know, 15 minutes on trying to do my eyeliner today. So I've got my True Faced Better Than Sex, like mini, Tester travel size, I don't know. I asked in the last video, but if you're watching this video, if you know a dupe to this, because I don't really want to buy from Too Faced, if you know a dupe for the Better Than Sex, or even just a better mascara, please let me know in the comments below, because I need something else like this. Robert Welsh was saying to um, do the wiggle and the blink. The wiggle helps separate the lashes and the blink obviously helps them go up. Got a teensy little dot in my, uh, you can't even see it on camera, a teensy little dot in there, I'm just gonna leave it. It's in my uh, crease anyway, so that's fine. I'm not gonna do my eyebrows either because I feel like the natural brows kind of look better. If I was doing a full heavy like glam eye look or face look, then yeah, I would probably do my eyebrows, but I don't know, I feel like it looks better with them just being natural. Tell me what you guys think. Right, I'm just going to do the eyeshadow colour under my eyes and then I'll put that a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes as well. 
I'm just going to use that um, Enchanted Rose colour again, just a little tiny bit under the eyes there. Okay, so that's that done, and I'm just going to do the mascara on the mascara. The mascara on my bottom lash line. Bottom lash line, bottom lashes. My eyelashes are quite naturally long, so I can't do too much, otherwise, they'll be like down to here. Okay, so those are the eyes done. Now I'm just going to do some blush and highlight. I'm not going to worry about contour or bronzer at the moment. Like I said, I'm not feeling like a full glam day. I just need a little bit of warmth in my cheeks and then a little bit of highlighter. Yeah. So I'm going with a ColourPop. Yeah, I know another ColourPop item. ColourPop. ColourPop item. Going with a ColourPop Catch My Vibe Pressed Powder Blush. Catch My Vibe is the name of this colour, of this shade. And that's what it looks like. I'm just getting a big fluffier brush, JS2, because I don't want too much put down like compacted. Now I've got a long face, so I'm going to bring the blush across just in the middle here, and then I'll put the highlighter above it and just a little bit around where the light naturally catches. You can see my cheekbone up here. So I'm just going to bring it just across rather than down. Just to make this face look shorter. Yeah, I need to put a bit of powder all around here. Wow, that has come up way more than it has in real life. Oh my god. At least now I need to be more reserved. It's alright. I'll go over it with a little bit of powder. I'm not smiling while I'm doing it, because if you smile and put it, you know, here on the apples of the cheeks, when I drop, it comes like all the way back down here. Smiling, drop. It'll come down like into at a really weird angle. Rather than up, it'll come down and it won't look right. It'll just look like a really weird carving out of your face. I recommend watching Robert Welsh on YouTube. He's a professional makeup artist and pretty much all of the tips that I use in my skincare routine are from him pointing things out to me. And I'm like, huh, that makes sense. He is awesome. Definitely go check him out. All right, I'm just gonna get some powder real quick and just go over that and just some of the oilier parts of my face. All right, so I've got some e.l.f. sheer um, setting powder, I think is what it is. Just some e.l.f. sheer powder. I'm just gonna use that. I'm just gonna go lightly. All right, so where else am I shiny? Just all around here. I don't like looking matte, so I still want some shine in my face. Go lightly dust across. So I'm using my phone as an actual mirror, so I'm not looking at you right now. I'll have to bring this blush forward a little bit more. Put on my nose. Yeah, because everyone wants to look sick or some shit like that. I think it looks really cute. Oh, this is my favorite part: is putting the highlighter on. Now I have a ColourPop highlighter. I know, surprise, surprise, but it's from the Disney Designer Collection as well. So, this is the shade Coronation the pressed powder highlighter. That's what it looks like. It's a bit warmer than um, what I would normally use, but I've got kind of a warmish look going on, so I think it'll look nice. I'm just taking the JS4 brush. I'm gonna do it where I have natural light sit on my face. It 
it's a very subtle highlighter like it doesn't really show up a whole lot but it's because I'm putting it on areas of where I normally have natural highlights due to the lighting that I'm in and the way that my skin is shaped so it, to me it doesn't look like a whole lot but I feel like if I went outside then yeah for sure like you'd be able to see it but I think that's nice just something subtle so that it's not like noticeable from afar I'm just going to do my lips now now I have a Sophia Nygaard lipstick I've actually got the full pack of them um, and this is the Bury Me in Lipstick Creme. So I'm gonna do this. I'm, I don't usually wear lipstick, so this is all kind of like new to me. I do prefer lipsticks over liquid lipsticks, like creme lipsticks. I'm not a huge fan of matte. Um, I feel like it just makes my lips look like a desert, like just full of cracks. <laughs> I really love what, um, Christy does, Raw Beauty Christy, where she puts it in the center of her lips. And then she um dabs it out. <laughs> Looks so bizarre. I wear lip balm all the time. So I feel like that's why I don't usually wear lipstick, is because I would just much prefer have lip balm. I hate the feeling of dry lips. I hate it so much. Um, the way that Raw Beauty Chrissy does her lips, oh my god, I've never related to something so hard in my life. Like, I love it so much. Now I'm wondering if this was the right colour to go for. <laughs> oh, we're committed. We're already doing it. Like I said before, I don't like harsh lines, so... I think that's so much nicer than just full block lips on me personally. Like I don't like the way that I look with just blocked out lips. And now I've got another Disney designer collection uh, lip gloss. So I'm just gonna put this on top. Oh, that feels so much better already. Yes. And now that's our finished look. What do you guys think? Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this look um, and how I went about it, I guess. Uh, I do think the lips are a bit off for this eye look especially, but I'll just get a bit closer. So what do you guys think of this look? What do you think of the eye look? Is it nice? I love it. I think it's so pretty. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys thought of all of this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for joining me. What is my hair doing? <laughs> um, I genuinely hope you found what you are looking for in this video. And if not, then I'm sorry. I hope it was at least entertaining for you. Um, let me know if you want to see any more videos like this. I will be doing more of this, but let me know if there's any products that you want me to try out and I'll do my best to try and get them. Within reason, I am not rich. <laughs> but yeah, just let me know what you guys think. I really love this look, so it's a shame that I can't go anywhere with it. Oh man. Oh well. Thank you so much for watching, dude, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!